What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content related to helping you grow your app downloads, and more importantly, those revenues. And today, I've got a phenomenal guest that I've got to talk to a few years back, and then through some weird circles, reconnected with them, and I was like super excited to bring him on. We're going to talk all about how do you grow fitness apps, and if you're a coach, how do you easily build an app? for yourself to sell your particular content. We're going to break down some of the strategies, how for one of his coaches, he's been able to grow over 500,000 users without any paid marketing. They've been around for two and a half years and grossed over $2 million in app revenues. So without further ado, let's bring on Sunny. Sunny, let's happening? do a proper introduction. <laughs> Welcome to the show, my friend. It is BreakthroughApps.io. All that is linked up into the show notes, but BreakthroughApps.io. If you guys are a coach and you're looking to build an app of your own, well, Sunny, welcome. Thank you for having me on. I just posted on LinkedIn. I said I'm going live with my idol, Steve P. Young. <laughs> Ah, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Hey, Sunny, why don't, why don't we not bury the lead here? I mean, you told me when we were doing some prep work that you were able to grow to 500,000 users without any paid marketing. So talk to me about your process or your strategy when you're bringing on an influencer and how do you turn these followers into downloads and ultimately into subscribers? Yeah, let's jump right into it. You know, so uh, so first of all, I'm the, I'm the uh, co-founder uh, co of a company called Breakthrough Apps. And what we basically do is we partner with, with coaches to basically launch their own app so like you know back in the day coaches and still do they, they would write their own book and 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 make that live you know and like sell it uh around the world an app is like around the same realm but it's way more alive way more interactive and the way we do this um you know there's a lot of buzz about influencer marketing right we're like if you're a brand you get an influencer and if they can talk about it, they have a big audience of 10,000 people, maybe even 16 million people. And, you know, they will talk about your product. What we've basically done is we've built that into the DNA of the product and company. So we realized that, you know, the word influencer has, has become what it is. But these people out there who have built a following for a specific niche, you know, whether it's in yoga, meditation or workout, they have a following. And right now it's, it's hard for them to make money, uh, you know, just by, it's not sustainable to make money doing, doing like brand deals and stuff like that. Majority of the way influencers make money is by upselling some sort of product. So essentially mm. what we do is we partner directly with them and whatever their niche is. And we, we focus on wellness and we get wellness coaches and we're like, Hey, you have amazing content. You have a lot of knowledge and you're a certified coach. You want to make an app with your content and just on demand. And right. we give them the platform. We become their tech partner. And it, we have the app builder where they're able to build and configure their app. And it's a best in class app. So, you know, instead of them going and paying hundreds of thousands of dollars, they, you know, we, right. we primarily work on a revenue share. And, and what we're able to do is with a, bunch of growth tactics that we can get into we've been able to convert their followers into subscribers paying subscribers um and yeah. happy to get into that yeah let's do it so what's is there like okay. a process what's step one generally with that yeah so you know it's it's timely because uh january's coming up somebody just told me this morning and i've heard this before in the fitness world there's a you know, there's four quarters in a year, but there's the fifth quarter, which is the last week of December and the first week of, you know, January. That's the fifth quarter, baby. And that in those five, <laughs> six days, you're going to make as much money as you did in the whole quarter, you know. Uh, so yeah. this is timely to talk about that. So the way one of the methods that we bring people from an influencer's audience onto an app is by utilizing the concept of challenges. So in the wellness world, challenges have become this big tactic that really works it works almost without fail mm -hmm. obviously there's no guarantees but it we've done it with a number of apps you know total we have over 30 apps right now um which is that number is growing very rapidly 
we essentially would, let's say if you were just showing relax with Yogi Brian. So that's the meditation yep. app. And what he does is he does a monthly meditation challenge or a weekly challenge. And what that basically means is he'll tell his audience like, hey, participate in this challenge. That's our boy, Yogi Brian. Amazing, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He will do a challenge where basically for his followers, all they got to do is download the app and do a single meditation every day. And they open open the app. They do day one, they get checked. They do day two, they get checked. And the beauty is it's all pre-recorded mm -hmm. content. And this concept of challenge, I think it's just like, you know, like when you just tell people like, hey, you're going to get 50% discount. It's just in their head. They know what that means. Now the audiences are starting to know what the word challenges means. So doing so, he has this seven day fuck off challenge. He's a, he's a niche it. meditation yeah. teacher. He's a niche meditation coach. Um, so using yeah. the challenges, we're able to turn it into an event. So instead of saying, hey, get my app, get my app, get my app. We're instead, instead saying, mm -hmm. come do this challenge. And we're going to incentivize you. There's going to be prizes. So if you participate in this challenge, you finish seven to whatever, 31, 30 days, you're going to get a prize. You're going to get a chance to win a prize. And on top of that, if that wasn't enough, since it's January and everybody and their mother in the fitness and wellness industry is selling something, <laughs> we make it free. I'm kind of giving away our tactics, um, but we but we make it free. And And the reason we simply do that is to show people value. It's like, you know, when you go to a mall outside the food court, they're hanging out like, chicken and and various like cro croissants and coffee to just get you to see how good it is to see the value yeah. and then with hope you'll spend money and dude that we've done that two years in a row we're going to do it a third year this time works like a charm people see the value and then we hit them with a promotion that's saying hey just for a limited time it's 50 percent off and so literally last year for one of the apps in one month just by doing that strategy for an influencer who had about 200, 300,000 followers, he literally got 50,000 downloads within three weeks. Okay. So let me summarize, if I may, Sunny. Yeah. You do a challenge, you post it on Instagram, you do a giveaway, and then you make the app entirely free during this challenge time. And you show the value up front. And towards the end of that, once they've seen the value, you hit them with the promo and it converts like clock. Yeah. And we make the, just the challenge free for a limited time. You know, we'll just say, this is just free for Got January. It. So there's that sense of- Got it. Safety. So the challenge- but Yeah, that's correct. So this particular F off challenge, which I love the naming and the branding. I found that like, if you have swear words in some of the, the content, it actually converts. Yeah. Like I, one of my favorite books is like, how not to give a F. I think that's what it's called, but I have it right there. <laughs> but anyways, he yeah. started uh Mark Manson, I think is his name, but he started this whole- yeah trend of calling it all that so this so like this seven day f off challenge is the one yeah. that's free within the app and then you show that value and you hit them with the promo you hit them with some urgency you do all the e-commerce stuff that is well known and boom it works like a charm boom exactly yeah it works I like a it. charm i love it dude I love, it. I love it hey i want to say hi to a few people because there's some there's an audience. Angelina, good to see you week in, week in, week out. You're becoming a regular now. And then Adrian's here. Kevin, Arthur is here as well. Samuel, what's happening, brother? I just talked to him. He's definitely in the fitness space, so he's here. Aiden, been a long time, Aiden. Rudy, good to see you, my friend. Noah's here. And then Yash, Romaine, Ricardo. Angelina what's says, up? that show by June 13th, everyone drops the new year resolution. <laughs> and so you're right. Like you have a two week window, get going. Yeah. Let's go. Kill it. Yeah. And then Aiden says, I watched a YouTube video about crowdfunding and it said, the first thing you need to do is a crowd. It seems like what you're leveraging is smart. That's so true too. Thank you. I think Sunny, yeah. what I found is, you know, you know, I was going to create this content. Like if you want to start a business and see simplest way to start a business is to build content and build a community and you don't need a huge community to start figuring out what that community wants and start figuring out like how to help that community's problem. That's exactly what I did. And it was a tiny little community, mm -hmm. but you have, that's the easiest way. And in my eye, it's one of the best long-term strategies, as long as you're good about creating content, which I have been, but like, it's one of the best long-term strategies because I've never done any paid marketing. You know what I mean? Like everything's just been about 
community, getting people like yourself that we've talked three years ago and then like to really circle back and bring you on and talk about it. It's like, I share content, you share content. And it's just this, yeah, it is community at its true essence. 100%. Yeah. Community. And, and, you know, through that, I really believe in the thousand true fans concept and you doing yeah. that, dude, you've created this amazing community around you just by, by right. letting people continuing to add value and it just creates, creates community around that. And that's what we see our influencers doing the same thing. Yeah. I love it, man. So one of the things I wanted to talk about too, with you, well, actually, are there any other strategies beyond the challenges that you want to share? you know, share, share with caution. I'll yeah. Say that. Yeah. Whatever. Listen, you know, I, I like, I like, I like the Gary V philosophy, which is like, listen, I'll Thanks. share all the, all the ideas, but nobody fucking works harder than me. <laughs> you know? Um, so I love it. take it, take it and go, take it and go. Uh, let me, let me give you another one. Uh, this is high level, but, uh, you know, we, we love to, coincide themed months, themed days and and stuff like that with the app. So for example, you know, the big ones that people always think of is like, yes, New Year's, that's a big one. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, that's a big one. That's like a theme that like people have just been programmed by gazillion marketing, you know, videos and, and billboards. But there's a bunch of other ones that are smaller, but are amazing. So I'll give you an example. Uh -huh. We have a bunch of yoga apps, right? And to to one of the biggest days for the yoga apps is International Yoga Day, June twenty first. Mm -hmm. Right, the normal people that don't do yoga that are not yoga teachers, they're like, "What is this International Yoga Day?" That was our biggest day of the whole year last year. Wow! In terms of sales, <laughs> what do you mean by big? In terms of revenue, in terms of sales. Okay. Yep. Because yep, yep. we'll just say we'll coincide a promo just on that day, flash promo, and we'll coincide, you know, some sort of content and challenge or maybe just like a single class that that are the our partner influencers will do another one is like just google like what are the themed months like there's stuff like i think september was a walk like national walking month you know so what we did we did a national walking challenge in one of the apps <laughs> literally it was just audio kind of like a um active right we have we have some audio content as well in, in one of the apps step it up it's Steph. Um, and that it, like, we saw like a, I think a 30 or 40% increase in, in downloads just with that. So if you just Google, like, what are all the different things? How can you coincide the events that are already out there, big or small with what you're doing and put that together into content and marketing? Sonny, we are lying because I don't know if you know this, but today is actually National Ugly Sweater Day, and you and I both put oh. on some Christmas sweaters. <laughs> I mean, you got a shirt. <laughs> Your shirt looks way cooler than mine. <laughs> but I don't know, that's dude. what I was doing. You got a cool llama, <laughs> what from what it seems. I, I just got my wife bought me. It's this. a cat, it's but cool. oh, it's, it's a, a cat. cat. It's a cat. Okay, okay. That's that's dope, dude. That's dope. I'm more yeah. of a dinosaur guy, you know. <laughs> Actually, on this note, and why I love this job so much is last week we talked yeah. with Tom and he said the most popular push notification from one of his gaming clients was Happy Independence Day. And he did that for everyone in the world. So it was localized Amen. to that country. And that's all they did it was just like Happy Independence Day. It was a push notification that was sent out and that had the highest engagement so it got me thinking around that realm when i was writing push notifications for a client of ours where like okay i was looking up i think it's nationalday.com but you can just google it and you'll find these wacky little days and because i need to know like you tie it in i mean you give reasons you call it something and it means more versus just being like seven day promo right like it's like seven day yeah. national happy national yogi day your seven days off a particular challenge whatever it is and then let's go so i love that yeah, cool. No, I actually loved your Gary Vee impression too. Oh, thank you. I, I just saw that. Thank you, brother. I practice. I, I, you know what I watch? I practice other. I watch other guys doing Gary Vee impressions. Like there's a guy on TikTok. He just kills it, and he was on Gary yes. Vee Con. I seen that guy. I, I, I watch the impressionist. You know, I'm impressionating the impressionist. <laughs> oh, I love. So it. I'm a cheater. Hey, one of the one of the things I wanted to kind of highlight too was if you within the challenges realm actually there's actually decent aso yeah. volume for anything around 20 day challenge 30 day challenge and if you do some Ooh. aso analysis you'll find these keywords have decent 
traffic and lower competition. So I just put in 28 day challenge, but you look down here and you see, you'll start seeing that these day challenge things, 30 day challenge, not too bad, you know, 28. So you want to be around that high twenties, low thirties. That is a sweet spot for finding these like lower competition keywords. And so mm. I lose weight in 30 days, you know, here you go. And you just have to pull the difficulty, but I follow will tell me the traffic scores and the traffic scores are decent enough to build a six figure app just with this number is what I found with my data. That's dope, dude. Now, uh, can I ask you a question, Steve? Of course. I know it's your show, but I'm asking a, a question popped into my head. <laughs> what about events yeah. in the, in the, you know, uh, in app, app store and app events? Cause for our challenges, we started doing events, but I love that idea. I think I'm going to take that back to add specific challenge names. Uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. So thank you for that. What's your thoughts on events and how that helps is so. I love events. Now, I think, especially since you're working with influencers, I would create an event for let's pick on Brian a little bit. He has yeah. this, and this would be an event, right? Like you put in an event. I don't know if Apple will allow the F off, but maybe they will. But the quickie challenge, like seven day quickie meditation challenge, that there are certain types of events and challenge is one of them. And so what they, your influencers can do is like, you know, link in bio or swipe up, link to that special event. Right. And then you can even deep link it if you really wanted to, or you can just put your normal app store link, but then it sort of ties in everything, right? They see the, yeah. the promo on, in, on social media, then they see it in the app store. They open the app. You can actually even track revenues, downloads and app opens from that particular event as well. And yeah, you, it goes off and running. So I would probably just try to tie it all up into, and it's so easy to create these events within app store connect. You know, my only challenge is when you do the, 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 this is the segregation between iOS and Android, right? The, the, <laughs> everybody's problem. So when I make it, so yeah. what, what we do is we use one link or branch or apps flyer, right? To do a single link yep. that they can promote because they got Android users and iOS users. So if we're promoting an iOS event, maybe this, obviously this is Apple's chess move where, <laughs> where like we got one event that's Apple iOS only. Right. And for putting right. it out to the whole audience, of course, an email, I think we could segment and just give iOS any wisdom around that. Or is it just like, fuck it. This is just for iOS users. Am I allowed to no, swear? I mean, I'm sorry. I would still. No, that's fine. I don't, I don't care that the <laughs> I would still do it. Right. Like it's it's that one link. If it goes to Android. OK, just take them to Android. Right. Like you know, there's not going to be a deep link. They'll have to open the app and all that stuff. But I think having talked to some influencers, they generally say, hey, my audience on Instagram is more iOS. So I think you're trying to solve mm. our small segment of the population anyways. And it, I'm more of the fuck it. Let's go. I'm sorry, Android people. You'll just have a less than desirable experience <laughs> by iOS. Yo, we got it unlocked for you. Actually, I just, I just, in this moment, I just thought, I think with a one link, you could just put the event link for iOS. So they yep, can still promote exactly. the one link and then it just goes to, oh yeah. Steve, yeah, yeah, adding exactly. value, action-packed content, adding value in my life right now. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, I just talked to Damien, national ugly sweater. I feel so seen. <laughs> I love it, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, Aiden has a question for you, Sonny. Does Sonny do any promotion? Hell yeah, we do. You mean like, I'm assuming what you mean is, do we do cross promotion between the influencers? Like we got a meditation guy, we got a yoga girl. Do we do cross promotion? That's what I'm assuming too. Um, yeah. What we do is this, uh, they themselves. So first of all, we're, you know, we're revenue shared partnered with all these influencers, right? They're their own entity. So we're just a bunch of businesses coming together. Um, so they're allowed to do whatever they want, but you know, we have these mastermind groups once a, once a month where the different influencers come together. And through that people have, have turned on to do collabs. Like they'll do Instagram lives together and then they'll, kind of collab mm -hmm. uh, with that. Or what they'll do is they will uh, swap content. So basically, you know, with these inf influencer apps, it may just be a bunch of meditation content, right? And so to make sure that people aren't leaving that app and, and getting, um, you know, a subscription fatigue, we'll add in yoga content. Or we have a handstand app and we'll add in yoga content to that and they'll do a swap. And we have tried to do... And, you know, it was a little bit early for us. If you want to try this again, we've tried to do a bundle approach. And I think what would be really amazing is if we can have one breakthrough subscription 
where through a breakthrough mm -hmm. subscription, you get access to a bunch of these apps. And then so that way they can all kind of cross promote that. That we have not done, but I'm open for if anybody got ideas. Yeah, I love that. Hey, you know, Sunny, I know you have this great stat out there. So for any influencer and wellness coach out there, you know, you've been able to really like on average 20% of all your followers to app downloads, which is amazing. What I love about, you know, like, so even Yogi with Brian, Yogi Brian, you know, that's uh, like 40,000 if i'm doing the math correct but like that's that's really good so was it just the challenge well not just but challenges yeah. and then the the theme stuff was there any more that you want to add to it because i would want to make sure that the audience knew that that stat is amazing man listen we got that 20 we, we've actually got with some apps we've gotten 30 percent. obviously with some wow. is lower um with yogi brian we haven't hit the 20 percent yet but we're getting close and that 20 percent happens so by the way, it's 20% conversion rate from followers to downloads. We see that it happens at roughly in 12 months. And what that means is every nice. month they're promoting different content in the app. They're doing polls, they're doing lives. Um, so beyond that, I mean, one thing that works really well, Yogi Brian, I fucking love that dude. He just gets on Instagram <laughs> and, and he'll just be like, what's, what's up fuckers? I'm promoting my app right now and he'll get on live Instagram and he just, he's just super, I mean, he has the brand so he can do it. He's like, come yes. on, come on, buy my fucking app right now. And then literally he'll go on a live and just sell a bunch. He'll, he'll make, make like a few thousand dollars on a live. Wow. You know, or maybe a few hundred to a few thousand dollars. And like, it's, it's pretty dope. Uh, so I definitely recommend, you know, big thing, everybody, Everybody on Instagram was like, oh, Instagram popping TikTok. So we all got to do reels, right? Reels is the thing. Mm -hmm. Now, reels is going like this. And this, you get on mm -hmm. reels, so are 900 other people. Uh, nine million, you know, millions of other people are on reels. Um, what's now, we're seeing what what is putting influencers apart is, is doing lives on Instagram. Mm. And also, one more thing I'll say is, I don't know if Instagram folks are listening. If you mention the word app in your Instagram post, they would, they would, algorithm does something and your engagement will be lower because obviously Instagram doesn't mm. want you promoting other shit, right? So be very careful mm. with certain keywords. There's definitely certain keywords that you should not use or even say, but when you're on a live, it's hard for them to, you know, you kind of like, it's almost a cheat code. You can get on live, talk about whatever the fuck. Um, but on post and reel, you got to be careful with that. Yeah. I love Brian's stuff, man. He's amazing. Dope. This guy's. And it, you know, it speaks to like, I think when both of content or the apps world, but like you think about apps and he's like, look, it's yoga, it's meditation, it's comedy. Like there's a diff key differentiator. We're already picking like for me, example would be marketing, digital marketing but like focusing on app marketing. And that's how I differentiated myself. And with Brian, you know, he talks about yoga mm. and meditation, which everybody knows about, but he's bringing a spin and comedy to it. And so that's what, you know, I think of ASO that way. It's like, stop thinking about like this up here that you can start at the bottom and go up like the 28 day challenge stuff. Like you can go up to yoga, meditation and workouts and fitness, but you know, start here, get those revenues coming in that first 1000, that first 10,000, then just, move up. You, there's a path up where I think everybody starts at the very top and then kind of figures out like, what am I doing wrong? It's like, you're, you're playing where everybody else plays. Like to your point about the reels, like if you're doing reels now. So is everybody else. So like, how are you differentiating right. yourself now? I love it, dude. All right. Is there anything else that you want to share on just growth wise? You know, I think, I think at the end of the day, it's all about content. Um, content in the app and content on um, on social media as well. I also do think there are many aggregate. This is the last thing I'll share. I have a million other things I could share, but it will stop at this. Uh, there's aggregators out there too for influencers that they can get on. So, for example, one source of traffic for Yogi Brian is not just Instagram. He's also on TikTok, but he's gotten on an aggregator app, meditation app called Insight Timer. So he uses that app as also another another top of the funnel, you know. And and the beautiful thing about those aggregator apps, whether it's Inside Timer and there's Playbook for Fitness, there's you know the list goes on and on. There's yoga aggregators. 
The beautiful thing about the aggregator apps, you're not just getting people on Instagram that are that could be following you for comedy or for something else, and they may not be qualified buyers. The beautiful thing about the aggregator apps, those are high intention users. So people that go on Instagram, they're not, or sorry, people that go on Insight Timer, they're not there to go look at pretty faces and pretty bodies that some people might be on Instagram, right? Whatever percentage that is. Uh, on Insight Timer, they're high intention. They're there to meditate. And when they when the followers from there are way higher converting. So that's the only thing I'll say. I love it. Yeah. I mean, uptime, reach out to me and they're like, hey, Steve, you want to create some content on our app? And I'm like, yeah. And that is the whole, and that's how I first got going too, is like leverage my guests and his community. Be like, would you want to promote our interview, Sonny, to your breakthrough community? And he's like, all right. And then yeah. that became like the most popular episode when, when I was first starting out. So I love that huh. strategy, man. Aiden, Aiden has something, the pack description. I do it on a web page and give the users an unlock key, which they could put into each or in use the common. Mm. So here, some feedback for you. Thank you. I, I really appreciate okay. that. I'll report do back. Aiden, might do that. Yeah, that's one perfect. body, one meditation, one spiritual. So for example, got it. Hey, one of the things I wanted yeah. to do, Sonny, was actually show off. Let's, we've been talking about Brian a lot. Let's, let's show off the app. So. There's a coach out yeah. there, wellness app out there. Well, we'll just kind of. Did you want me to give you feedback on this too, or what? What? Please do, please do. Give me feedback. Okay. How we can improve? I love it. All right. So, the the onboarding sequence, the onboarding screens. I probably leverage Brian's stuff. Let's. I have Brian's screenshots here. So I think what he. You have the advantage of knowing what the highest engagement is. I know you and I talked, and I was like, "Does follower count? Does a follower count matter? If I'm an influencer, does it matter as much if I want to create an app?" You said, "No, it's not as much as like the follower count. It's the engagement. The engagement mm -hmm. is the most important." And so we know, like you can probably know, like what type of content that Brian creates is the most engaging. And it's maybe for me as an outsider, not knowing anything about Brian, is like yoga, meditation, comedy. And so I would lean into right. that yoga, meditation, comedy, talk about some of the, the, like look through his, figure out what type of content is getting the most engagement and the most laughter and all that stuff. And if it's like this, you know, like shut the fuck up, take a nice deep breath, exhale, chant, fuck off. Right. And it's like, then I would lean into yeah. some of this cursing um, stuff that makes Bryant so different than any other yoga meditation app. And on that note, so I would change the screenshots around and lean in on his unique fit and same with this, right? There's a different type of person that is going to be really like you and I are going to be like, Oh, Brian's cool. Like I, I can hang out with that dude. Right. So I would lean into that a yeah. little bit more and whatever you have on the screenshots, like regurgitate that type of messaging on this onboarding process. So I'm going to hit start your journey. Okay, there. cool. And then we have seen that if you don't look uh, here, I'll stop this and let's see what happens when I hit X. Okay. So we have actually seen now this could be a problem for your the way that you have it coded I love that you have apple we have seen that if you show paywall process the that you get an increase in revenue you have to have my email and have me sign up that is what it is and the reason why i say it sunny too is we had mm. Oh man, I'm forgetting his name. Andy, Andy Carvello Fitcher. He was like, he used to work for SoundCloud and he was like, I only got 56% conversion on the user sign page. You're actually getting installs too. But if you are losing people on that screen, think about ways that you can get them to convert first and then have them sign up. So you're saying show the paywall first when they come in, show the paywall as soon as possible yeah, yeah. before they actually register and go yep. through the onboarding. Mm, okay. Yeah. And look, I think what the, the value you have an advantage amongst that's greater than everybody else. These are content creators. So they know what messaging drives engagement. I'm a content creator. I know what type of messaging I can use. I don't have to rely on anybody. I talk to a ton of people. So I know I can say X, Y, and Z and get a, a positive result, positive reaction here. I would leverage what I said before, leverage what they already know that their audience loves about them and be like, look, are you ready to sleep better and relax the fuck up now? You know, like me, you know what I mean? Like use oh, some of that message. Yeah. And I would try to lean, like, we found that longer pricing paywalls are prefer 
performing better. And so go longer, or if you're going to not go long, use the Blinkist model, which is a timeline, you know, access all my content and relax the fuck now. And then, or relax the fuck down, whatever he needs to say, then day five, I'll, I'll send you a push notification. And then day seven, you'll be charged. You can do that model, the timeline model, or you can do both. And that's what we're doing in our app. We have a long paywall, but we also do both. And again, because they create content, you have the advantage of social proof that you have these many followers. He has all these workshops. He has a bunch of testimonials that for an indie developer who's just getting going, they're like, well, I don't know. I don't have any social proof. I'm just new, but you don't have, this is your advantage. This is your unique advantage you have. And so he knows what type of messaging is going to be working. He knows what his students are saying, and you can leverage all of that, right? In that paywall. So for those, I know most people that are buying are buying because they know Brian, but for those who aren't familiar with them, or even they do, right? Like he still has all this element on his workshop, even though they probably yeah. know of him. So he has that. And if he's going live and he's going live, there might be a cross promotion. We might not be so familiar with Brian, but loves him enough that it's just still worth mentioning like, Hey, this is the social proof and you can borrow what he's using in his workshop mm. already. Right. Some of the messaging in there. So yeah, uh, this speaking is of paywall, proof. thank you so much. For, and, and please keep, keep going. This is super valuable. Um, for paywall, have you found videos versus pictures on here perform better? Mm, so I have great question. I, have, I haven't done enough tests, but we're going to do more of this now. Yes, that anecdotally I've heard from others that yes, video on paywalls perform better. Now, just be, I would say be careful. I think it depends on the type of app, but sure. for the most cases, yes. Because if you think about like click funnels, lead pages, they use video and they have like video testimonials. So video I know does increase conversions but I would keep it on the paywall and test that, right? Like if they, and plus you have, you're, you're working content creator. So like the reason why I haven't fully recommended video is like, it's an additional cost, an additional barrier. So I didn't want people, to promote yeah. it, but since, yeah, if you already have it, do it, test it. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, right, this, we, we build this paywall you. ourselves, but we were for mm -hmm. some of the apps, you know, like I mentioned, we have over 30 apps. And we've started to integrate Purchasely. So we've been able to kind of play around, shout out to Purchasely. We've been able to play around with uh, the paywalls. So the free, Which we so free content, Brian, yeah. or is it, are, is there any free content or is everything locked? Uh, there's, let me see. I think if there is free content, so this one isn't. If there is free content, um, you know, in other apps, if you, can you go to the top? Top of the home. Mm -hmm. No, right. Okay. It's not. Um, I think as you go into individual categories, uh, we, we mentioned there's free things. But in other apps, we actually mm -hmm. have a free category that automatically shows up. I think Brian just hasn't turned it on in this app builder. You know, I don't, I was going to found that hard paywalls perform better, but I think for an app mm. like Brian and he, the full funnel of what, if I'm Brian, I'm like, no, I want to get these daily quotes. I want my cooler. So I think I would keep it like that. We have found that more neat, the more niche of an app you go, the, the better, the hard paywall works for you. And a hard paywall just means there's no X either pay me no X or get out. the F yeah. out. And that's it. Yep. Mm. Then we got some questions from Noah. Yes. Sunny has ASA Apple search ads been successful for you? I know the fitness category can be extremely expensive. You know, we're, we're going to be starting on that in 2023. That's my main goal. We've gotten all this downloads and all this revenue, zero paid ads. So I, I'm actually nice. here to ask my idols, DP Young and the audience, <laughs> what would you recommend for us to, for, for, for paid marketing? especially since we've been tied to the odd to, to their audience so much. Uh, so yeah, I, I can't, I don't have anything to offer on that. The more niche that you can go and you and I can talk privately about this again, you know, trying to be more, I'm trying yes. to be better about sharing everything. Cause you know, finding that people right. are competing. So no, I can talk to you the, the, in a general scape landscape, 
the more niche you can go, the better it is for ASO, the better it is it's going to be for ASA as well. Because yoga for Brian, it might be a little bit harder. Meditation, super hard. But if it's deep breathing, pace breathing, those tend to have decent volume and less traffic, I mean, less competition. So go after those keywords. And then from an ASA standpoint, if it's super competitive keywords, what I would try to do is set up a broad match campaign and a discovery campaign around meditation and mindfulness and force Apple to be like, Hey, I have these really strict constraints, meaning I can't pay it that much for a cost per tap because my constraints are, let's say $3 or $2 per install. So you just give them really hard constraints and then you force Apple to become intelligent because obviously Apple wants to make money, right? So they're going to force, you're for forcing Apple to come up with different keywords around these really competitive keywords and show them. And if it longs as sitting in your cost per acquisition goals, that's how I would do it too. And I found that for some clients, our discovery campaigns are broad and our search match campaigns are outperforming our generic campaigns. And so the, you, we can, we're finally getting more spend on these campaigns versus the exact match campaigns. All Is right. there a minimum amount of ASO? Like, can I, can I just spend a thousand bucks and get statistically significant yeah. results? You reckon? I'm not a math genius, but I think so. <laughs> That's because yeah. I'm cheap. Like if this was my money, I would try it out with a thousand dollars. Yeah, totally. And just see how it goes and directionally. We'll know. Okay. Yeah. We should definitely talk more after. Exactly. Yeah. Let's do it. Aiden's got a question. Sonny, do you have What's any up? salsa apps asking for a friend who might not be Steve? <laughs> His last name may not be young. <laughs> um, so you know what's funny? <laughs> we are a platform for any niche. I don't know if that was a joke or not, but I'll answer it anyways. Um, yeah. We are a platform. We've white labeled most features that you would see in any wellness app, whether it's meditation, all the way to bodybuilding, lifestyle coaching, yoga, you name it, right? We have the features white labeled. If we don't have it, we're working on, like these are all our coaches in different categories and we're mm -hmm. working on white labeling a few more. Um, you know, one of the biggest ones that we're white labeling now is community because I think that's a big part of wellness apps. So really like if there is an influencer, maybe Steve's got a, got a you know hidden account where he's just he's a salsa teacher and he's just got a hundred thousand followers steve we should talk <laughs> <laughs> add a new revenue source is there a limit do you do you work like when you're working with a yeah. coach just for the coach out there is there like hey you have to meet certain criteria of followers or certain criteria before you because it is so rev share you're like you're you're taking on some risk right. obviously too right Right. Uh, no, th th we don't, you know, our, our main criteria is, are they niche enough, right? Is their page mm. a personal page or is it a niche about what they're talking about? Like we've worked with people who have their niche, but they have 2000 followers, but their page is strictly about, you know, working out. And that's mm. all the content they post and every, everything about it is that, and the use and the followers are super qualified leads that are following this person specifically for what they're offering. And for those, you know, like I'll, I'll go back to the thousand true fans. If we can get a thousand people paying 10 bucks a month, that's a fucking good business. If we can get a hundred people paying hundred dollars a month, that's also a good business, you know? So it's more, at the end of the day, it's more about the niche and engagement. Uh, so no, we don't, but we do have people all the way from like 2000 followers, like our biggest influencer that we work with is a 16 million follower TikToker. Wow. The monetization model is uh we have a small kind of platform fee and then we do mainly revenue share. Got it. Love it. All right, Sunny, you ready for the app audit round? And we like to start off every app audit round. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you want to go first or you want me to go first? <laughs> okay, mine's gonna be lame, so I'll I'll be the opening act, all right, for for a dad joke. Okay, hold on, let me let me make sure everything is ready. Oh, shit. oh. Okay, see, this isn't working. I just yeah, got a drum kit. Thing. All right, there, I'm ready. All right, cool. So listen, my wife and I, we're gonna get a new dog, and we live in New York, and the dog's breed is a Yorkie Terrier. But when we get the dog, its breed's gonna change to New Yorkie Terrier. <laughs> All right. Funny enough, I got a dad joke too. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a dog joke too. Sonny, I went to a zoo that had only one animal and that 
was a dog. It was a Shih Tzu. There you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's Shih a good tzu. one. Type that's a good one. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and along the um, cursing. So we need D for Sunny and then Y, since we're both S, Y for me, if whoever thought was funnier. And then Sunny, I will... See, I did a doll salsa dance, and I don't know if that's what Eden was referring to. I had to do it on Instagram because I lost a dad joke round, but we can we can figure something out. All right. All right. Let's take a look at Refa's app. He or she says, how to increase my app download and a bit about the revenue. So you're the guest. I'll let you lead it off. Looks like it's an app about yeah. student resources. Student resources, the only app for self taught path. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it looks like you can learn computer science, business, graphic designs. I like it. I like Let's that say. it tells me who the app is for and what mm -hmm. and what kind of areas that it'll help it. So immediately I'm able to zoom in. This is probably like if I'm in college or even maybe even out of college, mm -hmm. right? I've never seen this app before. So this is interesting. Yeah. So so again, to our note about being more niche and what you said too with your influencers, I'm glad we align with that. What I would do, Rafa, is like focus in on one thing. Like there's actually good traffic for math and biology and chemistry and all this stuff. And so I feel like the app space is different from other sources out there. Like we want different things for different things different apps for different things like Instagram and TikTok. Like what is the primary difference now with reels being so popular? Well, TikTok, you're going to get more comedy. You get more dances. You're going to get, you know, there's a certain brand that yeah. comes to it. And so we go to each app for a certain purpose rather than trying to be the end all, like what you see, the only self-taught app, be the best chemistry app, be the best computer science app, be the best. That's how I would do it. Because then you can, your ASO, your downloads, your users, you know their intent. You can speak to exactly to what their needs are and you can get higher conversions. So it's a win, win, win. And just have hundreds of apps around and kind of like what Breakthrough is doing around a certain topic and speaking to that particular topic. So that's the one thing I would do if I were you. Stop trying to be the end all be all and the student resources. I mean, unless you want to compete with the big guys of the world and homework helpers. We have a client similar in that realm and it's just like, it's very competitive and they've got big budgets, man. Like you're not going to compete with mm -hmm. them. So if you can't compete with those guys and you don't have a big budget, then start very low, right? Like chemistry, homework helper relates to chemistry and you can go up to the homework helper, but start with chemistry, start with biology, start with algebra, super high traffic for algebra there. What do you think about that? The, the immediate thing that jumped out at me was that there's no like testimonials. What's your thoughts on yeah. like testimonials? So you kind of meet people where they're at and like start with the why of I like love it. why people come to this and what they've gained, you know? I love it. I mean, I think it's, it's any type of social proof is important. I mean, it's just, it's like a pillar of marketing, having some type of social proof. So whether it's testimonials or the number of students you've helped out, whatever that may be, oh, yeah. definitely have that in there. All right, let's take a look at that itself. See, then you're like competing with, you know, Cute. like, what's the other ones? What's the big platforms out there? Like Skillshare, Udemy, you know, now you're competing with these guys. And so it's like, how are you going to compete if you're an indie developer with these guys? So anyways, and then even the student stuff, there's a lot of homework helper apps out there. And how you compete mm. with all those guys. Yeah, I'm super biased, but my whole thing is when there's big apps out there, like for us, there's big apps like Peloton and these and these bigger apps with bigger budgets. Mm -hmm. What we've realized is people still find people like they, they learn from people. So if you can get like a person who they can learn from in this app, that could be interesting too. Oh, it looks like he's being affiliate. All right. So it's a resource. Oh, affiliate. Interesting. But there's the kind I don't know. It could be. I don't know. Cool. Yeah, this looks like an aggregator. Like, learn more about it. Coming soon. Okay, I like that. I mean, that is kind of cool because there's so much stuff out there. And, it, and like, yeah. discovery almost is sometimes a problem. Yeah, I like it. 
I like this, okay. and I think it is going to be ad base. So I like everything that uh, Rafa you're doing. So yeah, I I like it. I think the messaging is off. I didn't know that you were trying to be an aggregator. And maybe if I buy this, you get some percentage off. Yeah, it's like every educational and yeah training in one place. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Website. Yeah, linear algebra. Okay. Mm. So it looks like an affiliate model. Okay. I get it now. I think I would just work on the messaging then, you know. Like, hey, it's an aggregator. Look at Yahoo's of the world. Look at, I don't know, these other websites and just come up with a different messaging on your... I think it's good to remind people, right? That onboarding sequence, you just had to sign up. Just use a different type of messaging. Like, what I'd like to do is just look at my reviews. As long as they're, like, real reviews and these are real people writing this, what are they using? You know what I mean? Like, if they're using certain things... Contains an excessive list of courses and to, for any subjects. Okay. Like, you know, we are the directory for courses and tutorial, any subject. And I would use that word in there versus the only, I don't even know what this means. It's self-taught app. Right. So I would lean into that. I think it's a messaging problem right now, but it looks really good. It looks really solid. Yeah. It's a cool app. All right, Sonny, you want to get the so? I'm sorry, you got shut out, my my friend. Yeah, dude, I I lost, I lost. terribly here. <laughs> my wife helped me. Ricardo says my wife helped me get that joke, but once I did, <laughs> laughing my ass off. <laughs> oh man, I got okay, destroyed look. on my on my dad joke. Maybe <laughs> Steve, maybe because I'm I'm a fake. You know, I'm not actually a dad, unlike you. <laughs> right? How many kids do you have, Steve? Sure. I've got two. I've got two. Okay, see, I've got <laughs> yeah. I think zero. <laughs> I think. Where's that drum roll, man? Where's the drum? Right. Oh, oh, that was a joke. My bad. I didn't know that was round two. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you, thank you. That was the dad joke. Okay. My bad. My bad. I'll give you another one. I'll give you All right. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. All right. Sunny. This is an awesome community you've got here, was... man. Oh, thanks, my friend. I was in Paris and I actually tripped in France. I fell over. <laughs> Eiffel Tower. I fell over. Okay. Oh, there you go. I Carter, just... don't go to your wife. I'm explaining it to you. Okay. I know it sucks. <laughs> if I have to explain a joke. <laughs> Adrian says, now that was a dead joke. Okay. <laughs> I like it. All right. Same rules. D for Sunny and then Y for me. All right. Let's take a look at that. Nicole's app. I know Nicole might be here. Or she might just watch the replay. Hey, you guys, do me a favor. If we did audit your app and you've seen some good results, fucking tell me. <laughs> like, don't just be quiet for so long. I talked to somebody. I think it was Damien. I don't know. I don't want to call him out. But I talked to somebody recently who joined our App Masters Academy. So stay tuned for some of that stuff. But he was like, yeah, Steve, you know, you actually reviewed my app last year in 2021 of May. It, we grew our sales 106%. And then now, you know, I signed up for the Academy and I want to, you know, work closer with you. And I'm like, the hell what took you so long he said look it took me a long time to implement it but at the same time like he had five or six months worth of data and i heard nothing from this guy so let me know this is the whole point of why i do this all right let's see nicole says growing subscribers okay nicole well let's get to that how are you on time dude you okay i'm good i'm good yeah okay let's take a look at nicole's app and i'll try to go quickly through some of this stuff all right so it's a wedding app what are you waiting for? Download the app. Yeah. Let's take a quick look at the app store. If there's anything that you want to highlight. We're both married, so we can talk to Ah, shoot. Yes. Sorry, Nicole. I can't, can't see your screenshots on your landing page. Yeah, Apple, Apple does, does this thing. You may have, may have to refresh it. Yeah. Then it gets the message if you refresh this. There you go. Nice. We're a bunch of nerds. We can figure this out. <laughs> All right. GM Bride, Ain't wedding preparation. <laughs> uh, say I do to 10, wedding finger, well, need wellness at your fingertips. You can do it. So, all right. I'll let you lead. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, right away. Can you click open the screenshot? It's a little blurry for me, but I'm able to make out what's happening. Sure. Maybe 
click over the first one and go next. I think right off the bat, two things that pop out at me. I mean, the yeah. reviews are a little on the lower side. So I think maybe there's tactics that we've done to bump up our reviews, right? Through the giveaways, through like challenges we've used that to increase the reviews. And also, this is such a personal thing. Like immediately, I'm looking at this and thinking about my wife. Um, and I feel like since this is such a personal app, you got to have a testimonial right up front. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like the social proof yeah. joined hundreds of brides. I think that's cool too. But I think we can get a little, little uh, more aggressive on that social proof. But it looks beautiful. So it, yeah, and if I'm, you know, this could be one. Of, I mean, she, if he has a follower, she could be definitely one for breakthrough. But like, I think I was unclear, Nicole, what the app does. And when you say wedding wellness, sure. like, unless look, I'm not a bride, but I don't associate something like I don't associate meditation and she's talking a lot about on our website health meditation wellness with a wedding so are you a wedding planner app which is what I had originally thought you were or are you trying to be wellness and planner and if you're trying to be both what I would lean into and then we can look at your description too is what are people mostly looking for like my example of algebra and students like what are lean talk about that and then boom kind of like brian yogi brian again yoga meditation gotcha, comedy did not expect yeah. it so wedding planner plan the perfect day blah 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 and we got meditations wellness to help you feel better and not be a bridezilla or you know go crazy at your wedding so you can really cherish and i can just speak from my personal experience at a wedding it's like you have so much going on you almost so much stress on a particular day to make sure everything goes right like take time for yourself so that you can fully enjoy there's no better experience in my opinion where you get so much love from all your loved ones at once on one particular day than your particular wedding so you know talk to people about that type of message yeah i got i got two things if i may i think yeah, of course along with that along with that personal touch let's get some pretty faces in here you know like yeah. maybe some models, mm -hmm. some some uh, stock photos. I think that's one thing. The second thing is maybe more of a framework. I like to, mm -hmm. what I would do is I would show this to a friend. Um, is it Nicole? Nicole's the, yeah. the owner. Nicole, I would show mm -hmm. this to a friend or either a friend or somebody you don't know and be like, check out my screenshots. Explain to me what this app does. And I think that's your like litmus test to know that like, okay, is, is the message getting across or not? And then you keep iterating on that. Yeah. I love it. Great, great idea. All right, let's get into the app. Oh, by the way, your boy soup, soup, Sucro, uh, um, I, I may have won this round of dad jokes, Steve. Yeah, I, I, I got one I was vote. hoping for more I got votes. one vote. Well, we'll vote Adrian and give you a dad joke too. It was unexpected. <laughs> this is a surprise, a little punch, like, oh. <laughs> all right uh, i want to hit don't log in so again i don't know what your conversion is on this nicole but talk about what the app is don't assume everybody's thinking about you just remind people what the app is right like i say the stupid same intro every day because you know there might be some new people and the same the people won't mind i say the same thing <laughs> hopefully <laughs> all the time but remind people what this app is all about I hate this sign up. So again, I I'd, I'd rather, I would rather you onboard me sh and then show me the paywall versus like forcing me to do all this stuff. Like uh, this is annoying. So yeah, registration because you're going to lose people. This is never going to be a hundred percent. You know, SoundCloud only got fifty six percent. It's never going to be that high. You want to make sure your install to paywall view. That's the most important metric to any revenue to the quickest way to revenue. If that number isn't close to 100% of your installs and first opens seeing your paywall, you've got a huge problem. You got a leaky bucket. And I feel like this is a leaky bucket. I don't wanna put in my phone number. I wanna leave this app <laughs> right now, but I'm doing it because you filled out this form and so I'm doing it for you. But like, this is hard for me. I'm fighting my urgency to just clear this app out because I don't wanna do all this stuff right now. 
Hey Steve, okay. what should what should the yeah. App Store page views and download bench uh, conversion rate be? Sorry, don't mean to interrupt. So that's a that tricky question. number because, yeah, that's a tricky number. It's I don't look at it too much. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And now Nicole is sending me a little notification. Again, Nicole, if you don't need this, I don't look at it too much. What I do look at is paywall. You know, like your pro page to install that should be close to 70 percent. otherwise you have screenshot problem it's just okay, the number that apple gives you yeah the apple the number that apple gives you if you guys are looking at app store connect and that conversion number that apple puts you it's just by impressions download by impressions so that is just going to be not a high number yeah all. that number is a little useless right because impressions like if i search wedding and her app is going to pop up in a list of thousands of apps the impression right. will get incremented right which is set, feels right. like a little useless or no? Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. That's why I don't pay attention to that number because I don't know what impression means. Is it yeah. result number five? Is it result number 10? Is it just somebody searching for that keyword and I, they scrolled? Like, I don't know what that number means. I don't yeah. pay attention to that number. Yeah, Nicole, like that's the main thing. Like I'm stuck here. I Maybe it's because I put a different number, but like. Mm. I know she's trying to verify that they entering the real phone number and maybe phone number is a big strategy to convert people i wonder but i feel like if you use sign on and you know we haven't done this which we need i need to take my own advice but sign in with google and apple it just i feel like they will increase that metric that you're talking about steve yeah i agree okay finally got a number or you just put the paywall up front which we're gonna do yeah, if you don't need this, if you don't need all this information from me, look, I think long term, great to have email because it's great for, you know, long term strategy. Email is super important. But I'm just saying, like, I'm not saying don't ask for email. I'm just saying show the paywall first and then ask for email and allow me to X out if you want. See, look, it's again, it's so, this is just really bad, Nicole. Ooh, it's just really yeah. bad. I'm like frustrated right now. Thing. You, yeah, you're, asking for way too much information i know nothing about your app so unless i love you to death like this is so much information all at once and i think what you can do is get some of this information during the onboarding process like how far away are you from your wedding da, 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 da. you know like ask them these questions because i found that getting users to engage with your app before you show the paywall increases conversions so some of these questions figure out what the critical two to three questions are and then ask me, get them to engage with the app, and then show me your paywall. And then after I hook into mm -hmm. the paywall, I think with an app like this, because a wedding hopefully is a one-time thing, like I wouldn't do a subscription. <laughs> I just do a one-time fee, right? I do a yearly oh. and a one-time fee, and I go, go, go. So the yearly is like, you know, 20 bucks, and the one-time fee is 25 bucks. So hopefully people understand that, hey, I'll just pay you the one-time fee for 25 bucks. Like, how much is your peace of mind worth, right? Like, your wedding, you're gonna spend tens of thousands of dollars. So it's like $25 should be nothing. That's how I would start breaking down the, the monetization. Feels like a one-time purchase. So have a yearly option, have maybe a monthly if you wanna do monthly. Monthly, yearly, lifetime, and make yearly and lifetime so close together that people are really deciding between lifetime and monthly. So they wanna be cheap, they can pay you monthly. They will, they're just like, F it, let's go. Then they could pay the, the lifetime. That's how I would do this. Yeah. Okay, Dude, I'm the out. wedding industry, too frustrating the wedding for me. Yeah, the, I mean, yeah not gonna get married. Uh, the wedding industry is yeah. so fucking expensive. Like my, my yeah. girl went and got her hair done, and she told the person that like I'm getting married, and they're like, okay, give her the wedding prices, and it's just like five x, you know, for the same shit. So I feel like people that are right. getting married, they're ready to spend money. Yeah, you should make that forty nine dollars a month. Forget about forty nine cents. <laughs> unless unless maybe she's done tests and realize that people are super price sensitive which i don't think they are maybe yeah all right you ready for the, the tiebreaker round <laughs> okay go i don't have all right i got it I'll, I'll start okay go. sunny someone asked me to name two structures that hold water someone asked me to name two structures that hold water i was like well damn there you go. <laughs> Maybe it was my delivery. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, okay, I, I got one. I got one. You ready? Okay. Yes. You ready? Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is a dad joke from India. There's nothing Indian about this. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm actually from Canada, so so we'll we'll make it Canadianized. Um, in a lake, there were there were there were three the, 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 there were there were three geese that were just like floating in a lake, right? Three geese, okay. um, Canadian geese, and the first one said, "There's two geese behind me," and then the middle one said, "There's there's." one geese in front of me and one geese one goose in, in behind me and the last geese said there's two geese in front of me and there's two geese behind me this joke is already way too complicated i've lost the whole audience um how can it be that the last geese has two geese behind that geese tell me is steve do you know is it a circle so the first geese said there's two geese behind me last geese right. also said there's two geese behind me how do you know that? Right. How how can that be possible? I don't know. I don't know. The the last geese was lying. <laughs> <laughs> too much. Right. People are just too gonna, much. That's funny. They're not gonna right, do it. Next time. I'm sorry, Steve. <laughs> that's delightful. <laughs> so D for Sunny, and then Y for me, and then we'll do that. All right. The do you want to say it is breakthroughapps.io, breakthroughapps.io yep. if you're a wellness coach. Sonny, if if I just have content, like I just joined yeah. this, I do have courses and stuff. Okay, yeah. So if you're a content creator and you want to figure out other ways to monetize your audience, this is a great way, not just monetize, but like bring value to your audience. This is a great way to do it. No, some upfront costs. But mostly rev share why spend the tens of thousands of dollars sunny knows his stuff he's been in the app space for a very long time so you're not just working with a development firm who's just going to like make an app for you. you're going to get that intelligence that marketing not just have an app because anybody can have an app but an app that actually brings value to your users and makes money at the same time it is through apps.io breakthrough apps.io if you want to learn more and sunny if the audience wants to connect with you in any other way do you want to send them anywhere else yeah, just hit me up on LinkedIn, uh, Sunny Dule, Sunny like outside, uh, Sunny Dule on LinkedIn. And and Steve, if I may, can I just have one last yeah, minute man. to say say something? Why we course, started man. this company in the first place? You know, uh, like seven years ago, seven years ago, I went through some some tough times in my life. I was li living in San Francisco, making a lot of money, and working at a, at, a, at another tech company. And I went through a a, a long term breakup, a romantic breakup, and. That just mm. sort of like kicked me in the face, you know, and I was partying, making money in my 20s. And then within like 12 months of that, my dad passed away. So I got <laughs> hit with these two big things. And, you know, what saved me was I downloaded this app called Headspace. Someone told me about Headspace. Mm -hmm. And what was am amazing was uh, started to bring the vibe down, Steve. <laughs> but oh, this is great. Some, I love it. Let's somebody, you know, so somebody told me that. Hey, get this app Headspace. It's great. Meditation's great. You're going through a tough time, but meditation's going to be great. And with Headspace, what was beautiful was it was this one guy, Andy Puttingham, who was the he's he was the main coach at that time. You know, now they have more. Mm -hmm. With that one coach, I feel like it saved my life, man. I haven't drank alcohol mm -hmm. in seven years. I started this company. Like so much stuff happened, and it's all That's thanks amazing. to Headspace because. It um it gave I developed a relationship with this one guy through an app. Never met the dude, and I feel like mm -hmm. the app gave me consistency. It was one you know one step away, and it really helped me. And in in building this company, now we have you know all these different amazing yoga teachers and meditation teachers and coaches, and we're trying to reproduce that same thing. And I've been the consumer, so I know you know what mm -hmm. it the impact that's possible. And I'm just super honored to just have. A small piece to play with these coaches changing lives so yeah. thought i would just leave that that's my inner why of why we why we wake up every day and uh and run this company i love it man and thank I you so much it. for having me on yeah no super cool stuff congrats on everything so far cool. i mean i know you just got bigger things and so yeah anything you need from my end let me know and thank you for sharing that story with us too all right I got no more dad jokes to end, up but yeah. <laughs> you did end up losing two. I only got three votes, but I won two to one. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I lost. I lost. Steve's <laughs> delivery was bad. 
I will say Steve was cheating and reading from Google or some shit. You know, I didn't write these down. I was cheating. That's true. <laughs> I'm not lying. I follow a dad account called Dad Jokes on Instagram, and I just screenshot a bunch. <laughs> really like, yeah, I'm not making it up. Once again, it is cool. Breakthrough Apps. I love the mission. BreakthroughApps.io. Next week, if I sent an email off here in our newsletter, but I want to feature you audience cool. and i did this a couple of years ago where i brought on people from the audience i was like let's celebrate you tell me about your wins tell me about what you what happened so if you're interested in that just email me if you're on the newsletter you got a type form form to fill out but if you're interested in that email me steve at appmasters.com there you go so i will do that next week right before christmas it'll be a solo episode but i want to highlight the people in the audience sunny congrats on all your success my friend thank you for sharing cool. your story thank you for sharing all those amazing tips in growing a fitness app. Appreciate you, man. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Thank you, brother. Talk to you later. Bye.